when pre-ACT first started. We have students that come and go to different districts. They move away and spots become available in various programs. And in this particular program, the PACT, pre-ACT program, a young lady wanted to enter, but of course there were criteria that they needed to get in there. But when your mind tells you to give this person a chance, especially if they keep coming, Ms. Tarver, can I have that spot? Can I have that spot that's open? Ms. Tarver, do you have any other spots that's open? Well, I took a chance on this young lady. I gave her that spot, but I also gave her a nice long talk in that spot. And I told her, we weren't gonna leave her. We will work with her and get her to where she need to be. Now when she started, she may have been on fifth, sixth grade level, but she was sitting in eighth grade. This young lady worked day and night. Her mom was calling me on the phone. Miss Tarver, can you get her to go to bed? Can you get her to turn the light out? You know, she had a flashlight up under the covers, study, you know, in spite of a pair of so to turn the lights out. I said, this baby is determined to make it. Now, I felt that somewhere down the line, somebody told her she wasn't gonna make it. Well, Miss Tarver told her differently. You can be anything you want to be and you can do whatever you put your mind to do. We worked on her every, she did tutoring in the afternoon. She came at a pre-ACT time. Her intervention time, she would ask if she could come, you know, for somebody to work with her. She came on Saturdays because we had Saturday school also. This young lady worked her way up into the 20s when she got ready to take that test. But they told her she wasn't gonna make it. But because of Navigate and putting that tutoring program into being, into place, and then they could work with it after school and after hours as well. Well, that determination paid off. That baby is in high school now, and she's doing well.